Well, it's been almost three years since Montreal's Arcade Fire have put out any new music. So a lot of excitement today when the band announced their new album. The Suburbs will be out in early August. Also today, they're putting out a vinyl album with two new singles on it. And the good news doesn't end there if you're an Arcade Fire fan. Anna Asmikopoulos is here to explain. Anna, take it away. Well, that's for sure. I got a sudden and unexpected chance to interview one of the key members of Arcade Fire. And can I tell you, it really made my day. The Arcade Fire has been off stage of late, although snippets of information would trickle out. Band was working on new songs, recording around Montreal and New York, and today a chance to find out about the inspiration behind their new album, The Suburbs. But both me and Wynn grew up in the suburbs of Houston, and we sort of wanted to directly address that as opposed to pretending we were tough kids from the inner city or hobos who rode the rails or something, you know, which there's always sort of pressure to do that. The full album won't be out until August 3rd, but today Arcade Fire is putting out a limited vinyl edition featuring two singles, including the title track. It just takes so long to put out an album. Like after you finish, it takes, you know, two and a half months. And we really just wanted to get stuff out there as soon as we can. I mean, I, I wish we were as big as Radiohead and we could just post it for free online the second we finished it. Because that, I mean, that's the dream of when you make music. And in the meantime, the band is getting ready for live performances this summer. They're going to be headlining Montreal's Oceaga Festival on Saturday, July 31st. Now